Mid afternoon in Bungoma, Western Kenya, 15 year old Anthony Mopalia makes his entry into his maternal uncle's home. He is here to receive blessings ahead of his circumcision on Monday. Anthony has opted for traditional circumcision. The family takes time to remind him of the importance of being brave. Any sign of fear or cowardice during that act will bring ridicule and shame to his family. Immediately I saw him come to my place and uh, looked at him. Just like the, the way I also stood the knife, the same knife, I knew he could make it. His uncle slaughters a bull and adorns him with a gift, a piece of meat that he must carry around his neck back home. By deciding to face the knife, he will be joining those before him. Personally, I faced the music by 19, around 1988, my father 1960, and my grandfather around 1920-something. Back home, celebrations continue. His father's age mates are welcome to share busa, a traditional brew. The celebrations will go throughout the night. He will brave the rains and the cold weather. Being a man in the Bukusu community is not for the faint-hearted. He is here to prove just that. 5 a.m. Monday, the journey to the river begins. Anthony undergoes a mud smearing process by the riverbanks. The mud is believed to be of an aesthetic value. At home, his mother and aunties await the news anxiously. It's all over within seconds. Anthony is now a man. Right now he's at school. We want, her, we want him to go through normal school life. And of, of course, we expect him to marry. And that, now, that, that is why that thing was operated. So that is for that function. <laughs> I'm proud of him because I know now they, from today I have a man for protection and he will take care of our family. He will stay indoors until he is healed, ready to take on the tasks of his village like the man he now is. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Bungoma, Kenya.